What's going on, PF family? My name is Quentin Daly, but you can call me Q for short. I'm here in Columbia, Maryland in the 360 area, ready to get a well-rounded workout. So today, before coming in, I checked my crowd meter on my Planet Fitness app. It let me know that the crowds are low, so it's a great time to get an exercise. So today, we are talking HIIT training, high-intensity interval training, a great way to work on your heart and your lungs, all while building muscle. Now, you know I'll have you with some modifications and, of course, some motivation along the way. But I need you to have a little bit of space. I'll talk about the items we need in a second. But you guys ready to shine? Here we go. Alrighty, guys. So what we'll do is start off with a warm-up. Now, any exercise that we do needs to start off with a great exercise warm-up. So what we're going to start off with today is going to be a step-back overhead reach. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me a little better. One foot in front of me, the opposite foot back. What I'm gonna do is start off raised up here, and I'm gonna step back in and step back, working on my posterior chain and my shoulders. We're gonna need those today in our exercise. Try to make sure you elevate those arms up as high as you can, big energy on this one. And of course, you can go ahead and take your pace up as you see fit. This is your workout, let's go, come on. So we're stepping back, arms go up, perfect, perfect, keep it going. I've been loving how you guys been checking in from state to state. Keep doing it. Perfect. We're almost done with this one. About, let's get about five more seconds. Good job. Three, two, and one. Excellent job. We're going to do that again just to get that body nice and warm. You guys have been doing good. So we're going to switch the stance, of course. I'm going to turn to the opposite direction so you guys can see me a little better. So I'm going to put that right foot forward. The left foot goes back. Of course, and I'm gonna have the arms up to start. You ready? And let's get started. In and back out. Step back. And we're using our glutes, our shoulders, and our core on this one. Take your time. You got it, good job. I'm stepping back, and you see when I step back, I'm on my toes, not really flat as much, but on my toes to keep that motion going. Nice and fluid. We're almost done. Try to give me another 10 seconds. Good job, good job. All the way up. If you can't go all the way up, I would like for you to just raise to the side. No problem there. Good job. Take a break. Excellent. Here we go. We're going to move on to our next exercise. But before we do, take a deep breath. You're in control of this. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. I need all your energy today. Here we are. All right. So kickboxing. I talked about this a little bit last time. We're going to have our hands ready. Hands up. I'm going to start off just like this. Left hand. Then my right hand, and then two high knees. One, two. Once I finish, my right comes forward, and my left, and I'm gonna do two high knees on the opposite leg. You guys ready? Here we go. In three, two, big smile, let's work. So it's one, two, high knee, right? Now I go back, one, two, high knee. Start it back over, right, left, up, up, left, right, and up, let's go. Put a little emphasis into it now. A little flow. Two, here we go, bring it back. Excellent, keep it going. You looking good. Excellent, excellent. Brighten up, we're almost done. Try to drop that knee up as high as you can. A little combination for you here. A little rhythm, yes. Put your little swag into it if you can. Good, 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 almost done. Finish strong, give me one more combination. Boom, boom, all right, so. You did great. We flowed a little bit with that one. Got the extremities moving a lot more. We're gonna do it again, okay? Here we go. So opposite side. Start off with the opposite foot forward. Here we go in three. Hands up, two. Big energy, let's work. Left and right, two of them. And bring that left forward. Keep it going. There you go. Left and right, here. Excellent. As high as you can, remember, Go at your own pace. If you need to take a break at this point, that's fine. Or if you need to, modify, slow it down. Slow it down. There's nothing wrong with that. Or you can reduce your range of motion and not come up as high on that knee, right? Good, almost done in three, two, take a break. Deep breath, deep breath. Excellent job on that one. Show somebody else if you can. All right, so the next one we got, we're gonna warm the side body a little bit. Ro 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 torso rotations. All right, so feet shoulder width apart, just like so. 
What I'm going to do is going to be a little different. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. You're going to have your hands together, just like so, to start left to right. And as you start getting comfortable, extend your arms away from you and then bring them back in. All right? You guys ready? Here we go. Of course, your modification for this, slow it down and don't extend as far. Three, two, deep breath. One, start close to your body first. Get used to it. Use those legs too. Pivot, 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 then bring it back in. Elbows go back. Start it back over again. Out and then in. And out, good. And then in. Try to get me a couple more seconds. Out. And then in. Excellent work. Out. Rotate as far as you can, please. And of course, slow it down if you need to. And really focus on, am I getting that stretch? Am I warming those areas up on my side body? You got about five more seconds. Keep it going. Three, two. You guys did excellent with that. So the side body is nice and warm, but doing it one time isn't enough. We got to do it again, okay? Big smile, big energy. I see you guys checking in everywhere. Good job, good job, good job. Here we go. Feet shoulder width apart. Arms close to you. Let's put in work. Three, two, one. Pivot and turn. Pivot and turn. Open it up. Open it up. Close. Close and far away. Close. Let me get closer to you so you can see my form a little better. Excellent work. Keep it going. And then far away. Now, my stance does not have to be huge. I want it to be a little out from shoulder width apart so I can work on my balance a little bit more. Almost done here. And three, two, one. Excellent job. The body is nice and warm for this exercise we got in front of us. So I'm gonna grab my wellness mat here. And I love these wellness mats. It saves my joints, of course, when I'm working out, especially on the ground. We're gonna be doing a push to pike, okay? So what I want you guys to do is I want you to be on your mat, <clears throat> hands shoulder width apart, just like so. I'll show you this version, and of course, I'll give you a modification. We're gonna press down. As we come up, look at those toes, engage your core, and do it again. Just like so, okay? If you need a modification, I'm gonna grab a weight plate, around five to 10 pounds, nothing too crazy. And from here, I'm gonna focus on pressing up and lifting my legs, then bringing everything back towards me. I'll exhale here. And inhale coming back in all right so you do have options so let's get started with the push the pike okay around 40 seconds for each of these motions all right but take your time here we go hand shoulder width apart five four three two one let's get started you got this press and pike use your core do it again so we call it high intensity interval training because you do want to work at a high intensity, but whatever your high intensity is, this is your workout. Here we go, come on. Keep it going. You're doing good. Press it out, pike it up. Press it out, pike it up. So if you got about, about 20 seconds left, you can do anything for 20 seconds. I know you can. I believe in you. So let's keep going. Keep your form tight. Finish out strong, 10 seconds. Almost done. Make sure you have those hands about shoulder width apart. You press up, you pipe, use your core, and bring it back down. Great job on that one. It was high intensity a little bit, but you made it. So I'm gonna modify this next set. I'll go back to the push to pipe. We're gonna show how we can do a spin press and a leg lift. It's similar, similar to the exercise we just did, all right? Here we go. So deep breath, around 20 seconds of a break on these high intensity intervals, all right? So we gotta get started. Three, two, one, and let's press up. Bring it down. To those of you that don't want the modification, go back to the push to pipe. There's nothing wrong with that, all right? Exhale going up, inhale coming down. Exhale going up, inhale coming down. Good job, keep going. All right, we're almost done here. We need to get 40 seconds of motion. That's all I want from you. I know you can get it done. Inhale, going down, stabilize your spine, push, squeeze that weight together. Almost done, three, two, one. Last one, up, up, up. All right, so, excellent job. Modifying, or if you did the push to press, we got another set to do. We got another set to do, and 20 seconds of a break means we start in three. Here we go, 
two, one. You got this. Here we go. Push it in. Hike it up. Use that core as you come up. Your hips should be as high as possible. Good job. Keep a flow to it. And if you want to, of course, you can go faster or slower. It's all on how you feel. It's your workout. Come on, come on, stay with me. I know you can, I know you can. Keep it going. I see you guys checking in. Keep checking in. Excellent job, excellent job. Give me up two more, two more reps. Last one, push yourself. Woo. Now that was it. So, excellent job when to push the pike. We did chest, we did core. Let's move on to our spider mountain climbers. So. For the spider mountain climber, I'm gonna turn this mat a little bit so you can see me a little better. Now, I'll move my, my weight out of the way. I'm done with that one for right now. So this mountain climber is specifically your core. Before we start, let's take a couple deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. All right, so hands, shoulder width apart again. I'm gonna show you a modification for this, but as we come up, I want you to step, right? And bring it back, and of course, opposite, and bring it back. If you need a modification, I'm gonna use my TRX wall, if you will. I'm gonna act as if this is my wall apparatus. I'll have my hands just like so. I'll bring my knee up to the side, back down, up into the side, just like so, okay? So regardless if you're on the floor or standing, you're doing the same thing. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's get working. Let's go. Come on. Step, tap, tap. So as of right now, I got a little shine going on in my face. I don't call it sweat. I call it glisten with shine. You know that. Keep it going. It's all right to shine a little bit, guys. Keep it going. Let's go. Step over. Bring it back. Commit to it. You got it. Commit to it. We got about 10 seconds. You can do it. You can do it. Keep going. Use your core. Step, step, step. Almost done. Put in that work. You got five more seconds. Tap, tap, tap. And a well-deserved break is in order. So I'll modify this one. I'm going to go to our wall apparatus, if you will. We got about 10 seconds to get there. If you need it, grab a sip of water, all right? All righty. So. At our wall, hands out. I like to back my feet up. If I'm close, it won't benefit me as much. So I'll back it up. Three, two, one. Get those knees up there. Come on. Out to the side though, not under you like normal. Out to the side, work that oblique a little bit. Work those hips. And you see I'm up with my toes. Balance, balance, balance. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You guys got it. You know the hard part is over. You already started the workout. That's the hard part. This is the easy part right here. Keep it going. All right, give me about five more seconds. Three, two. All right, break time is in order. So, you can see it. We're shining a little bit today. We got one more round. I know you can make it. I'm gonna go back to my floor, challenge myself a little bit. Deep breath. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, all right. Let's put in work, come on. Five, four, three, commit to it. Two, up, up, up. Let's go, come on, you got it. I'm right here with you. I'm right here with you. So we're gonna step over and back. Even if you gotta modify this version, slight tap, don't come up this high. Slight tap, right? But we're at high intensity interval training. I wanna burn calories even after I'm done. I'm gonna keep pushing. Remember, you got your wall version. If, we get you a little, if this is getting too difficult, let's switch. So tell you what, I'm getting a little tired, right? I'll come over here. All I gotta do is put my hands here, back it up, the knees go out to the side. We got options, man, we got options. All right, about five more seconds. Three, two, you take a break, you take a break. Excellent job, deep breath is in order, all right? Inhale. Exhale. You got this. Come on. Inhale. Exhale. We're shining. Heart rate is up. High, in, 
high intensity interval training, it works, man. Here we go. So an inchworm to plank jack is our next exercise. Check me out. So I'm gonna stand the base of my mat. I'm gonna walk myself out like this. Once I get to a plank position, I wanna jack out to the side twice. One, and then two. And I'll walk myself back in. A couple of things about this. Having your body weight transferred down might be a little difficult. So, what I'll do sometimes is to bend down. Make it easy, right? Or, flex forward. It's up to you. I would say, bending the knee is gonna be a little easier. All right, here we go. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Let's get to it. We already talked about this, but the hard part is over. You started the exercise. Good job, I'm right here with you. I won't let you down. Let's go, come on, push, push. We're in this together. Go back at it. One, two. Now let's talk about this form a little bit. I wanna make sure that my hips are down. I go out and in, out and in, but not too much flexion of my hip. So I don't wanna look like this here, right? While I'm doing my motion, I'd rather drop. And then go. Give me one more. Stand tall. Take your time. Down. Give me two of them. One, two, step it. Simple, right? <laughs> you did great with that. So, we're gonna go to the wall version of this one. If you don't wanna get on the ground, it's like Q, that's not working for me. Come over to your wall, right? Find your wall. We're gonna walk ourselves down the wall a little bit. Watch what I do with my hands. So, from here, I'll step down and then up and then jack twice. Okay, here we go. All right, everybody get started in a second. Deep breath, inhale, exhale. You got this. Three, two, one. So let's walk it down, 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 up, up, two jacks. One, two, back at it, down, down, and up. And that transfer of my hands is enough to engage my core. Good. Keep shining out here. Come on. Keep shining. You got this. Out to the side. All right. So you guys that are modifying, keep it going. I'm going to come back to my mat. I need a little bit of that work. I'm going to go back out. Hit twice. Walk it back in. Stand tall. It's time to do it again though, right? Come on. Come on. You got it. I know you can do it. I'm right here with you. You got your modification. Or this version. Don't matter. We're working out together. Come on. All right, last one, last one, last one. Nice and easy. Come on. Down there. Walk yourself out. Support your weight. One. And then two. Yes, sir. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. So, I need some water. All right. Get some water as well. Because I always say a hydrated body is a happy body. So, we're going to go to our next exercise. A little off the hands and the legs. We're going to use those arms. I got two dumbbells here, but if I don't have dumbbells, a water bottle will suffice. I'm going to show you that version as well, but I'm going to grab my weights. Watch what I do with this one. I'm going to curl. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me a little better. I'm going to curl first. I bring it down. I'm going to raise it forward and bring it down again. Okay, here we go. So stay with me. Head up, back straight, chest out, shoulders down. Three, two. One, so curl first, and then out immediately. Go back to it again, curl, out, good. So the front raise is for those shoulders, and that bicep curl, of course, is for the bicep. Let's get it. The hard part is, if I keep telling you that, but I'm so proud you started this exercise. That's the difficult part. Sticking with me, that's the easy part. Come on, keep going. I'm right here with you. I won't let you down. Keep it going. All right, so try to give me at least two more repetitions because we got around 40 seconds each motion. Last one, curl it. Pull it up. I'm gonna put these down to give my hands a rest. That was great. That was great. Our bicep and our shoulders got a high intensity interval training exercise. I feel good about it. Now, let's say two. Having 15 pound dumbbells ain't it. I'm not with that one. But what I'll do is I'll grab my water bottle. I'm gonna reference this really quickly. I'm gonna turn to the sides, you can see me. 
here's my water bottle, right? All I gotta do is curl it, let it down, and lift it up. It's the same thing, I promise you. All right, so tell you what, I'm gonna start with the modified version. We gotta get started in three, two, one, let's work. So curl it first, lift it up. I'll do single arm right now, but of course, if you got two water bottles, use them, use them. I'm about to switch over to my weights in a second, but I want you guys to know you got options here. You always have an option with me. Keep it going. Three, two. All right, I'm gonna switch over to my dumbbells and keep with these here. So I curl first and I lift. My focus for that curl is to not have my elbows back so much, but in front of me and control the weight. And then I, once I feel comfortable, then I add a, a bigger pace to it. Give me two more reps. Almost done. And up. Relax yourself. One more. One more set, and you've made it through this primary area. We got to cool down, though, of course. You've made it through the primary workout. You've done so good. I'm proud of you. Oh. So, here we go. Here we go. Deep breath. Exhale. Wipe that glisten off if you need to. Here we go. It is your time to shine, baby. Three, two, one. Curl it up. Lift it. Curl it up and lift it. Remember, the water bottle gang, use your water bottles. It's the same exercise. Keep it going. We're almost done. Big energy, big smile. Excellent job. All right, try to give me a couple more. A couple more, you can make it. You can make it. Curl it up first, front raise. Finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. I'm right here with you. Three, two, one. I'll place these down here. That was great. I can't tell you how proud I am of you guys getting that done. It's time to us to close out in a safe way, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're going to be cooling down. The first motion that we're gonna do is good morning. So our feet, I'm gonna move my mat out the way for a sec. Place it here in a safe spot. My feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. I'm gonna have my hands, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. I'm gonna hinge at those hips. We talked about this before, hinging down and coming back up. Good job. Like we did when we were doing an inchworm workout, we had to bend over at a point, right? Let's try to practice that in a fluid type motion. Both feet pointing forward. And we're gonna go for around 60 seconds on this one. So take your time. Even if it's bothering you to have your hands up, put your hands on your hips. Same thing. Good job. Stand tall, do it again. Fold. And there should be a slight bend in that knee, okay? Give me five more seconds. Four, three, two, Stand it up, good job, all right. So, we're gonna have another one. Now that our next one is more about the hips, we use those a little bit today with those plank jacks. So what I want you to do, if you need a stable area, use a wall, right? But as of right now, I'm gonna work on balance and my hip mobility, working on some circles, just like so. So take your time, making your circles out to the side. Good, I do four, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna use the same leg, but go the opposite way, all right? Let's do it. Bring it around. Good, good, good. Staying tall. Two, three, last one, and four. We're gonna switch over to the opposite side, all right? Deep breath. You've done so good today. Excellent job. Your body's gonna love you for this later. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna switch over, going backwards. Good. Two, three, your last one. Great job, great job, great job. Guys, that was excellent. Wow, that was big energy you just gave to that exercise. And because it was hit training, you be burning calories far after the exercise is over. So, do me a favor. Keep checking in right here, Monday through Friday, for more amazing exercises led by trainers just like me. Or Tap into your PF app for more motivational exercises, just like this one you had or the ones to come, all right? But until next time, much love, much respect. Enjoy the rest of your day, ladies and gentlemen.